Hello dear children of class 3 and welcome to another online class of general knowledge. Today we will be starting the third lesson of your general knowledge book important days. Now dear children before I move on to this I sincerely hope that you have completed all your work of chapter 1 and 2 and you have kept your copy updated. Please remember your copies will be corrected as soon as the school opens up. I also hope that you are well and good and safe in your homes and you are doing everything you can to protect yourself from the coronavirus pandemic. Please also remember that this is the high time to keep in touch with your books. Whatever the videos we teachers are making, whatever assignments we are giving, please go through them very seriously so that you don't lag behind in studies. Now coming back to lesson dear children, important days are certain dates in our Indian history which are celebrated with great pomp and shows. There were certain events during those particular dates which have become important in our Indian history and they are celebrated all over the country. Such is the grandeur of the celebration that these all important dates have become festivals also known as national festivals. Now dear children when we talk about important days we mostly talk about 15th August that is Independence Day. Independence Day. Now dear children on 15th of August 1947 our country after roughly 200 years of British rule we finally fought and got back our freedom and that day 15th of August forever came to be known in Indian history as our Independence Day. Now apart from Independence Day dear children we have 26th January also known to you as Republic Day. Children, after independence, our country needed some rules, regulations, laws to govern itself. On 26th of January 1950, please mark the date, 26th of January 1950, our country received its first fully recorded and written constitution. Consti the law book, the rule book according to which our country runs. After that, we have one more very important date that is 2nd October, also known as Gandhi Jayanti. Children, 2nd of October marks the birthday of our father of the nation, Mohandas Karam Chand Gandhi, also known to all of us as Mahatma Gandhi. He was born on 2nd of October 1869 and over the time he became the premier icon of our Indian freedom struggle. Most importantly what made him very famous was his method of ahimsa or non-violence which he decided to undertake in order to fight the atrocities of the British. Now children, like I told you before, when we talk about important dates or national festivals, mostly these three dates, 15th of August, 26th of January, 2nd of October comes into view. But as you all know, there are two more very important days which are celebrated all over the country. And this brings out a very special relationship between you children and us teachers. So, one of those important dates is 5th September, also known to all as Teacher's Day, also known to all as Teacher's Day. Now dear children, 
Teacher's Day is a day when you honor and respect your teachers. This day is particularly meant for our teachers, for us teachers, right? Your children brings us gifts, your children brings us sweets. You show your love, respect and appreciation to for everything that we do for you. Now, dear children, actually this particular day, 5th September, is celebrated as Teacher's Day, but it also marks the birthday of the second president and first vice president of our country, Dr. S. Radha Krishnan. Radha Krishnan. Let me spell it out for you. Dr. S. R. A. D. H. A. Radha K. R. I. S. H. N. A. N. Krishnan. Dr. S. Radha Krishnan. <laughs> now, dear children, in this particular name, S stands for Sarvapalli. So, we can say his full name was Dr. Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan. S A R V A P A L L I. Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan. Now, like I told you before, dear children, he was born on 5th September 1988. Okay, 5th of September 1988. And he was the first vice president of Free India. And he also became the second president of our country. Now, dear children, he himself was a great teacher and he did a lot of work in the field of education. So, in his honor, 5th of September is celebrated in our country every year as Teacher's Day. Now, this particular date belongs to us teacher. But there is one particular day which is specially meant for you children. Yeah, I think you have already understood which particular date I am talking about. That particular date, dear children, is 14th November. 14th November. And children, what do we celebrate on 14th November every year? Yes, we celebrate Children's Day. Children's Day. This is one day when we, when all of us elders, we show our love and care towards you, children. Now, children, this particular date, 14th of November, also marks a very important date because it is the birth date of Pandit Jawaharlal. Nehru. Let me spell his name for you. P A N D I T. Pandit. J A W A H A R L A L. Jawahar Lal. N E H R U. Nehru. Pandit. Jawahar Lal. Nehru. Now, dear children, he was the first Prime Minister of our free India. And he loved children very much. In fact, he loved children so much that children used to address him as Cha Cha Nehru. For children all over the country, he was known as Cha Cha Nehru. And he was born on 14th November 1889. Okay, 14th November 1889. It was his love for children. It was his love for all you dear tiny tots that his birthday came to be celebrated all over the country as Children's Day. Alright, Children's Day. Now this particular chapter talks about these two dates only. What do you call Teacher's Day and Children's Day. There are some exercises given here. 
I will be referencing those exercises to you. We'll read it out. We'll write the answer on the board. And based on our discussion just now, we will go through it bit by bit. So let's see. Okay, so first one is based on Teachers Day. There are four questions based on Teachers Day. So let's go through these four questions one by one. Number one, when is Teachers Day celebrated. Now, like I told you the answer for it, there are three options given here. Number A, 4th of September. Number B, 5th August. And number C, 5th September. So, I think we know our answer. Our answer is 5th September. Please remember, 5th September 1988 is the exact birth date of Dr. S. Radha Krishnan and he that day only is celebrated as Teacher's Day. Now let's see second question. Whom do we honor on this day? Whom do we give our love and respect? Again, three options are there. Number A, our teachers. Number B, our parents. Number C, our neighbors. So obviously the answer is number two, our teachers. Okay, now let's look at third question. Whose birthday is celebrated as Teacher's Day? Again, three options are there. Doc number A, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Number B, Dr. Bose, that would be Subhash Chandra Bose. And number C, Dr. S. Radha Krishnan. So obviously our answer is Dr. S. Radha Krishnan. Okay, while telling you the options, I may, what do you call, I would like to make a small correction there. Dr. Bose doesn't stand for Subhash Chandra Bose. It stands for most probably Dr. Jagdish Chandra Bose. And number four, why is his birthday celebrated as Teacher's Day? Why Dr. S. Radhakrishnan's birthday is celebrated as Teacher's Day? So let's see what are the options there. Number A, he wanted to honor teachers. Number B, he was a teacher and number C, both A and B. So obviously our answer is both A and B. Children, Dr. S. Radhakrishnan, he himself was a great teacher like I explained to you before and he loved teachers very much. He loved this profession and he loved the people engaged with this profession. So this ends the four questions based on Teacher's Day. Now, for the next one, that would be Children's Day. Children's Day. Again, there are four questions. Let's go through them one by one. Number one, when is Children's Day celebrated? Number A, 15th November. Number B, 14th November. And number C, 16th November. So we know our answer. That will be 14th November.
Now, number six. Who are made to feel important on this day? Number A, friends. Number B, children. And number C, parents. Obviously, our answer is children. Next, whose birthday is celebrated as Children's Day? Number A, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Number B, Dr. S. Radhakrishnan. And number C, Amitabh Bachchan. So, obviously, our answer is Pandit Jawahar Lal Nehru and we have last number 8 why is his birthday celebrated as children's day number A children loved him number B he loved children and number C both A and B obviously your answer is both a and B. Okay, children. So, these eight questions mark the end of our GK chapter 3. As per your assignment, children, I'll be providing you the board pick as well as the pick of the chapter. Your work will be to complete the questions given in the GK book in your GK notebook. Alright? Thank you very much. Stay safe.